Hi, Seth Weintraub with Electrek, and we're here talking with Douglas Afaro from Wallbox about their Quasar DC. What do, what do you call this thing? It's a it's a DC bi-directional charger. Okay. And so what the bi-directional charger does is it's capable of charging the car, but also discharging the energy of that battery into your home or onto the grid. And so this is the first of its kind. It's a bi-directional charger specific to your home for the residential segment. Yeah, it's small, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Exactly. A lot of these big DC things usually are like refrigerators. Exactly. And this is like smaller than a lot of regular level two charger. Exactly, exactly. So the, the other benefit is that being so compact makes it super easy to install. And so rather than having a big refrigerator looking thing and having fans and cooling and all this other stuff, you can just hang this uh, compact system in your home, which makes it also a more affordable install. Right. So you could get it in there and then you have the capability to use the car as, as an energy source. Basically. That's fantastic. And we see right down here, it's uh, Chatamo now, right. uh, which is Nissan Leaf mostly. Yes. Um, where, where a lot of cars are going are CCS combo, especially in the US and in Europe. Um, will there be a CCS combo version of this and how, how will that look? Yeah, absolutely. So the CCS version of the Quasar is, is exactly the same, just a different plug. Okay. And so since most cars are now uh, on, the CCS, uh, on the CCS standard, we want to make sure that we're serving that population of cars as well. We've already seen brands like BMW and Honda do pilots with bi-directional charging. And the standard itself is actually going to evolve to be capable of bi-directional charging in, in the next few years. But the brands are starting to investigate this sooner rather than later right. because uh, the battery is the most costly part of an electric car. Right. And so the more you can do with the battery, in addition to just transporting you from point A to point B, but if you can become an energy management system right. together with charger, car, home, and the grid, then this is a really sort of killer app for, for, for an EV. Right. And it's, it's actually kind of surprising to see uh, a DC fast charger in a home format. Usually those are big cables and a big thing. Um, so also, uh, you know, right now, Nissan Leafs that come off the line are going to be capable of using yeah, this. They're capable like today. Today. Yes. Um, has any other brand uh, announced a capability? I think you said uh, Mitsubishi Outlanders also? Yeah, Mitsubishi Outlanders capable of Which are also CS, CCS combo. CCS as well. Sorry, Chatamo. Uh, uh, Chatamo. Yeah. Right. Um, but, so no CCS uh, combo manufacturer has made a product that's capable of doing this yet? Not yet, okay. uh, but we but we are hearing signals. Well, we know that there's pilot programs that are happening, uh -huh. but we're also having discussions with a lot of interest on bi-directional capabilities. And so okay. it's something that's being taken very seriously yeah, because I mean, it's that next step yeah, I mean, where EVs not only draw from the grid, but they're actually part of the solution, being right. able to provide those services right. back onto the grid. Particularly at high demand uh, peak times. Exactly. Um, so a lot of our readers are interested in Tesla. Yeah. Um, obviously, this isn't a, a Tesla charger. In the US, it's proprietary. Um, you would have to work with them, and I, I'm assuming that's not part of the... It could happen. It could happen, right. it could happen. But in, in Europe, uh, they use the CCS combo, and you're not talking to them, or you are talking to them, or you might be talking to them about... We're speaking to all automakers okay. about the capacity. And okay. so if, if there ever comes a time that they offer bi-directional capability, mm -hmm. we work with the OEMs also to make sure that the system is compatible. Okay. So one of the main blocking points that, that has actually been a barrier for bi-directional charging has been the battery warranties, believe it or not. Right. And so we work with the manufacturers to make sure that the system is certified for use with that vehicle so that the battery warranty is still active. Has, has Nissan signed off on that? So Nissan actually has a certification program. Okay. So they have a really formal program on how charging systems should interact with the car for bi-directional charging. Okay. So we're having discussions so, so that this meets all the certification for all the cars that this works with today, like exactly. Nissan and Mitsubishi. And, and, um, so this, this is DC, it's not gonna go up to 50 kilowatts or 100 kilowatts, it, it does how many kilowatts? Right, so this does 7.4 kilowatts. Up and down. 
both directions. So you can do 7.4 kilowatts into the into the car and also 7.4 back out onto the grid. Which is a normal household level it, it, two type of charge. Exactly. Uh, but that 7.4 back onto the grid or into the home is sufficient to power all of your home devices. So right. it's a it's it's actually a quite a bit of power. And 7.4, the reason we chose this is because it's easily accessible for most homes. You know, most homes are gonna have 40 amp capabilities. If we went higher with 22 kilowatt capability, 100 amp, you might need panel upgrades, other expensive right. things. Again, we're looking for mass adoption of bi-directional charging. So the killer app of the DC in this case is not fast charging, but being able to also pull that energy back out onto right. the grid. And I see like tons of issues or tons of uh, electric companies being able to shave peak demand off of this. Let me ask you some edge case uh, kind of questions. Um, for instance, uh, the Harley Davidson Livewire. It does level one and it does level three DC charging. Yeah. This is a DC charger. Could you DC charge your live wire at home? Yeah, that's okay. actually a super good question. This is this is a fast charger for motorcycle. Okay. So motorcycle batteries are in the nine, 10 kilowatt hour uh, range. This is a 7.4 kilowatt hour system. So you can fast charge your motorcycle battery in about an hour's time. Okay. And so, you know, they can take DC capability. Right. So this is a fast charger for motorcycles. Right, you're basically taking the inverter out of the car. Exactly. Or exactly. out of the motorcycle. Yeah, but you don't need to spend a lot of money on a 50 or 100 right. kilowatt system for right. a motorcycle. So this is actually really suited for that yeah. use case. So that's yeah, actually. Have you, have you talked to about it? I'm sure they'd be interested. We've talked to a couple of manufacturers. Okay. That, uh, um, the other question I had: you have solar panels on your roof that are spitting out DC energy. This is DC energy. Is there any way we could pass the DC energy? without turning it to AC and then back to DC uh, through here? Or? So it's another good question. So this, this is actually an inverter. This right. is taking AC energy, turning it into DC and vice versa. Uh, this is the, the, main, uh, the main purpose of the product at the moment. So right now this actually talks to the other inverter. So right. to its sister inverter uh -huh. at the solar panel level to be able to tell it when it should come here to charge the car or go to uh, storage pack or uh, to the home. But you can see that there might be an application in the future where you can do that bypass. Yeah, right now, you're, you're our focus is just really being uh, that, that coordination between the different smart, you know, smart elements of the home right. generation. Yeah, this is kind of the low hanging fruit in that area. Exactly. And I'm surprised, like it's such a small package. Like in my mind, you know, we were at a couple of Nissan events and they had these huge refrigerator type yeah, things that did this. Right. And then, you know, this is great. This yeah, is we actually had to do a couple of breakthroughs in material science. So right. this is utilizing right. state of the art right. silicon carbide to get the high power with very, very small amount of material. The other thing is that we have proprietary technology on frequency. So this is an, this is an inverter, and so being able to get those frequencies ultra high makes it so that we can make it super compact. But the, the other thing is that we also use less materials, which makes it cheaper, better right. for the environment. And so we, we, know we, we focus on all of our products being really sleek, compact as well. Okay. And that's true of our AC chargers too. All right. Well, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, yeah. Douglas. Pleasure, sir. Quasar from Wallbox. Uh, fantastic product. We can't wait to try it.